Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Time for more RimWorld. I'm Elias Kelvin. Where? It, you know what? I'm sure someone will get that. All right. So that's taken care of. Good. Every everywhere is still warm. That's sort of what we were hoping for. Oh. There. Don't have to sleep that late. And apparently people ignore schedules. But, oh well. Sorry guys! Meditating in a room with people mining. That doesn't sound hard at all. Alright. So. Party. How fast is throwing a party? Really? What the fuck? No. No, 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 no. I'm calling an end to this fucking party. Also, one we have met animal. A local hare. Doge can take care of that. Elves to the... I guess we're not putting an end to this local party. Get bit by a hair. For crying out loud, you two, you have guns. Thank you. So, uh, in the future, as it turns out, I need to apparently designate party spots. Because, you know what? I, uh, I can honestly say I did not expect somebody to be throwing a party this early. The party's finished. Good. Okay. I am not too worried about it. This shit will heal pretty quick. They're friggin' hair bites, so... <laughs> Cold snap. Well, it's a good thing we're well defended against the cold. Yeah. So, a cold snap, watch out for hypothermia, and dying crops. Uh, which is kind of crappy for us. Just, just throwing that out there, that's really crappy for us, because this is going to delay the start of our growing season. Because it's now too cold to grow crops, as it turns out. Which is really crummy. But oh well. Nearly done with all this. Good, the food is being kept. Right. Just wandering, okay. Carry on. Uh, let's see. Joy. Let's throw down one of those. Can I make these out of wood? No. Didn't think so. Okay. Alright. Tribes people. This time there's three tribes people. That's concerning. That said, I don't know how effective they're going to be when they actually reach us. With any luck, this cold snap will deal some hypothermia damage to them. Uh, with that gear, you are capable... It's not quite cold enough, unfortunately, to deal uh, damage to them. I've had, uh, I'm particularly cold embarks I've done. Uh, it's been pretty rough. History. Our wealth hasn't increased that much. I don't know why it's glowing. Uh, witchcraft. Population. Yeah. Colonist mood. Eh, roughly around the same. Wealth and buildings, yep. Alright. <clears throat> Only the way everyone eat up. We are going to need some proper defenses soon. 
Apparently because uh, the tribal raids are up to three already. Three is a lot, actually, to uh, get us all started here. Alright. There we go. So that'll complete the uh, power systems for a while. Ah, good, they're beginning their assault. Um, Astos, you get the armor. Because you're going to be closer and the first one targeted. Nagash, go over here and dig in. You dig in here. And wait, because here they come. Withdraw. Uh, Doge? Uh, no. Please, please it melee attacker. Ilya, you look like you just took a freaking headshot on. Oh, right to the stomach. Good shit. Bleeding rate's only, uh, you know, 123% a day. I swear to God. You just shot the dog! Tail cut off fresh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, Doge is on the ground. Not dead, though. Ilya's on the ground. Decided to kidnap who they can. Which is, as far as I can guess, nobody? At least I hope. Okay, they're actually trying to take Ilya. Yeah, the colonist needs rescue. Okay. What are the odds of any of these people bleeding out before they escape? Not very high. Alright. Downed. Okay. Well, we managed to get through that. Okay, Astos is the is a doctor, right? Uh, let's see, yeah. Alright. Change of plans. Uh, set for prisoners. No, no, no. Go back. Um, set as medical. And then we need more spots for that. I mean, the other fights have just gone so swimmingly. I wasn't expecting it to go that bad. Like, we had a lot more missed shots in that one than we ever had had before. Um, I also need to designate an animal sleeping spot for Doge. Uh, yeah. Okay. Rescue. Rescue. Astos, how you doing? You're, you're slightly bruised. Um, holy fuck. Like, they came back for a r another round. Yeah, drop Doge. Let's go. Because Astos apparently can't shoot for shit. I mean, she can't get away. She's carrying a person. That slows her down way too much. That said, we do have to actually catch up to her. <laughs> and they're about to try and sprint out over the open swamp. Easy. Okay, Astos. Seriously, rescue that person. You also undraft. And rescue Doge. Who's in shock. Alright. Yeah, that, that fight didn't go as well as I'd hope. Yeah, blood loss. Nowhere near enough. Seriously, like, let's get everyone inside before they die of hypothermia. Alright, Astos, you are a doctor, yeah? And I believe the other doctor is Eliphas? No. Well, I mean, Medicine 4 with potential. Uh, Nagash, you are also do doctor. Treat the doge. Jesus. 
I mean, crushed right eye. Uh, cut off tail. Otherwise, you're okay. There's some permanent damage, unfortunately. Okay, and Astos is treating Ilya. Yeah, you're you're minorly bruised. Like that will totally heal. You're you're fine. Nothing even remotely fatal about it. Severe. Yeah. You're healing. Okay, no more bleeding at least. Yeah. Poorly sutured. Yeah. Okay, well at least that all got taken care of for the moment. Alright. The Nastos has to lay down and recover for a while. I'm not sure using medicine for bruises is a good idea, but yeah, what do I know? Right. So, I mean, there are trees that are set to be cut down. Eliphas is not a plant cutter. I'm pretty certain I said, yeah, okay, so Eliphas is literally the only non-plant cutter. Good news is Smokey's back up and running around. Yeah, shitty sight now, but luckily Doge does not need sight. Yeah, if you could, cut down this tree. Really? Ah. Uh, yeah, go treat Ilya. Hoping, was hoping that wouldn't happen. It looked good for a while there, but now we have an infection to deal with. Great. Which is gonna suck. Consume a lot of medicine, and otherwise just be awful. All right. Yeah, all right, so we, I think we need more proper bedrooms here, and uh, yeah. Need to get, uh, need to get that working. ASAP. Hmm. Do we want to start building out and start, like, having bedrooms out here? May not be entirely unreasonable. Trying to get everything inside of the areas. No, we need this for farming. Yeah, this is definitely enough power. Okay. Um, need that for farming. Can we build out back here? Yeah, yeah. That's actually not terrible. If we mine out that. And uh, proceed to construct a bit of a hall. Yeah, not enough stored things, not an issue. Well, that's annoying, but. I think, can we, uh, can we floor over this? Like, or, or is that just. Permanently, we can't do shit to it. Uh, like, can, can I put floor down over it? Cannot support this. Um, no, is there any kind of flooring that... Uh, no, does not appear so. Are you... Seriously? Ilya, I know you have a friggin' infection, but please, please, can you do this for me? No. No, you can't. Okay. Eliphas, please mine the steel. For the sake of everybody. Did you hear me? said mine this fucking steel. Thank you. There. That's a little better. Now we can wander in and out here and aren't running the long way around. Yeah. 
All right. And now, structure. Let's see. Uh, I think it's a little, little small. Hmm. Little, little small. Okay, so. We want eight. Is, is that correct? No, yeah, it didn't look right. Okay, so we'll set that up there. There we go. And we'll have a storeroom there. There. So another easy enough to construct bedroom. Mental state somebody broken is in a daze. Okay. I'm not too surprised about that. Yeah. Hopefully this cold snap clears up soon. Because I would like to start growing. Wow. Uh, delete this. And just move this over one. Unfortunately, we can't grow on that swampy ground either. There. It'll do. Tight, tight spacing, but it'll do. Uh, you are going to grow corn. And you are going to grow rice. Rice grows very quickly. Corn grows very slowly. Combined, they work pretty well. So, hopefully Andrea doesn't freeze to death. Uh... Kind of just a hope at this point. Can't do anything because she's dazed and thus likes to take off her clothing. She'll eventually snap back into it. Uh, yeah, please, please go wear that parka so you don't freeze to death. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, we're currently cutting out and getting two new bedrooms. Which will do. Um, another group of tribes people. Holy fuck. Again? Already? Yeesh. Alright. Well, who was it that I gave the armor to? Is Astos? You change of plans, as it turns out. Because somebody, yeah, somebody around here, like, has a decent melee weapon, I think. Yeah, dro drop that. Thank you. Uh, some Somebody around here, I think it was Ilya. Major untreated. The fuck? Okay, 77% immunity, that's good. Alright, yeah, alright, he'll, he'll live. Okay, um... Steel mace, poor. I think good. Like, uh... 6 with 2.10 second cooldown. 11 with 3.65 second cooldown. Um... Yeah. That's questionable. Health. That's character. Yeah, Ilya, you've got shooting. Andrea... Ooh, you, you are a uh, good shooter. Like, better than Nagash. Uh, Astos, good news. You're no longer a frontline fighter. Which is good. Andrea. Let's get you some equipment, shall we? Ilya will survive his infection. Man, even indoors here, it's getting really cold now. Jeez. Steam geyser's a little unreliable, and this is open now, so that's definitely not helping. Um... Set up a hole here. There we go. Alright. 
So, so far, they uh, haven't launched their attack yet. Which is good. I forget where they're coming from. Yeah, let's uh, let's find them real quick. Where are they? I felt like they were up north. Ah, yeah, they're there. Okay, so they're gonna come down. They're probably gonna enter here, which works for us. Okay, how are we gonna set up a defense? This building might work. Yeah, we use the building. 